Hello, this is Paolo Tezzon and uh, I am uh, the chief of the Acoustic Research and Development Department of Sonus Babel. Or better said, I was used to be the chief of Acoustic, of, uh, acoustic Research and Development Department of Sonus Faber until a few months ago. Now I am the brand ambassador of Sonus Faber. I'm in the company since 15 years and before that I was even a, a huge fan of the company and of the Sonos Faber speakers. And um, the company was born, just to give you a slight overview, was born back in 1983. This is the year when the company was founded. And um, the main characteristic of the company is to approach the loudspeaker system uh, in an unconventional way, so to say. Because uh, first of all, particularly at that time, uh, the founder had the intuition to make the speaker as beautiful as possible, to use precious material and to consider them something which will enhance the, your living room, your living spaces. So it's gonna, they, they started to be something you don't want to hide from the view, but actually the opposite, something which is an added value to the quality of your uh, living environment. And also, the, um, and this was achieved thanks to the use of precious material, solid wood, leather. You can tell there's a lot of uh, artisan work on them since the very beginning. And also there was some thinking behind, and there is some thinking about, about the sound reproduction, which is um, a little bit not completely focused in uh, very scientific approach with a lot of measurements and stuff like that. But particularly in the early days was uh, addressing, uh, how can I say, uh, a natural vibe. Uh, the sun wanted to be, particularly in the days, extremely warm, extremely pleasant, extremely listening fatigue free. And uh, this is what the company is about. We, the first great success started from the second half of the 80s, when the company started to be distributed in Japan. It was the very first foreign country to recognize the quality of the Sonos Faber speakers. And then quickly the success spread all over the world. And uh, here we are today, basically keeping, staying faithful to those original intuitions, but at the same time, keep improving and improving and improving. If I have to briefly describe the way I contributed to possibly raise the level of performance of the Sonos Faber speaker is uh, about staying faithful to those initial intuition. Always aiming for a sound reproduction which has to be natural, but uh, doing whatever I can to in increase the level of transparency, of articulations, of uh, extension in the both high and low frequencies, of uh, improving the dynamic capabilities, uh, yeah, improving every single uh, feature uh, you normally use for describing the sound of a loudspeaker system. There's a little bit of background to be told. Sonus Faber uh, became part of the Macintosh group back in uh, 2013. The Macintosh group is about uh, three manufacturing company. It's about Macintosh Lab, it's about Audio Research Corporation, and it's about Sonos Faber. And so we came up with the idea to have an, a sort of an experience center, sort of a concept which is telling to the world what we do and why we do the things we do the way we do. <laughs> And uh, the idea came up of uh, using this beautiful building as a display for uh, our activities. We don't sell any, anything here. We just allow people to have the experience. And uh, particularly these days, uh, we, there's a lot of uh, activities around the Olympica Nova, 
because it is the latest uh, new in the Sonos Faber catalog when it comes to, um, so to say, traditional uh, high-end low speaker systems. It's a new collection that we launched back last September in the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest in Denver, and since that moment it's available everywhere. Of course, uh, here you can experience uh, a little bit of everything coming from the Sonos Faber catalog. You mentioned the homage tradition, which is uh, in the in the room behind here, which is an higher level compared to the Olympica Nova. Downstairs you have Sonetto, you have, uh, if I am correct, you have uh, Il Cremonese or Lilium uh, in, in another room downstairs. And you have uh, a test a little bit of everything we do.